Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, I'm going to be talking about what happens when a narcissist pushes the game path too far. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website, it is narcsurvivor.co.uk. When a narcissist pushes the game path too far. An empath is someone who is highly attuned to the feelings and emotions of those around them. They feel what other people are feeling at a deep emotional level. Their ability to discern what another person is feeling goes beyond empathy the point where the game path may even take on another person's physical and emotional pain. Empaths are very good listeners. They understand people on a deeper level. They may have the ability to detect dishonesty, but they will still take on other people's problems as if they were their own. They struggle to say no, because otherwise they will feel overwhelming guilt when they do not offer help to someone who needs it. And because of this, they may have difficulty setting boundaries with other people, and they may feel overwhelmed in large public spaces, which may cause them mental strain from taking on other people's emotions, and it can lead to the risk of burnout. But empaths are very intuitive, caring and sensitive. They are far more aware of sights, sounds, smells, and other physical sensations that other people cannot experience. And that is why they may be more bothered or distracted by certain sensations or sounds that they do not like. While most people are not bothered or distracted by the same sensations or events, and they may not even be aware of them, but this results in reduced understanding of their emotions and of the emotional state of other people. While empaths are better able to support and care for the people who matter most to them, just 1-2% to 2 of the world's population are empaths, while the rest of the population lives in their own separate world, with their own separate lives and experiences. They are unable to connect to or fully experience another person. That doesn't mean that they are bad, it just means that they are not highly attuned to the feelings and experiences of other people. There's also uncertainty as to whether or not empaths are born or made, with the possibility of it being genetic. Some empaths may view it as a curse, but it's actually a blessing in disguise when it's not being exploited by narcissists. Because when you're around narcissists, you may be unable to differentiate your feelings from their feelings, which can be very confusing, especially when they are attracted to you. At least until you take a step back, because then you will realise that it's not you who is attracted to them, but you can sense their wounds and you feel like it is your duty to heal them, which is a beautiful quality but it can be exploited by those who seek to dominate in order to maintain balance and order in a relationship. Which is why when an empath is in a relationship with a narcissist, they will begin to feel overwhelmed by the narcissist's demands. They will do everything they can to try to make the narcissist happy. But narcissists have a void that can never be filled. So no matter what the empath does, the narcissist will never be satisfied, which is why the game path will be left feeling like they can't do anything right. But their emotions will be dismissed by the narcissist, or they will make the game path believe that they're too sensitive or they're overreacting. The game path may try to heal the narcissist, but the narcissist will begin to resent the game path for desiring to heal them until the empath eventually realises they're dealing with an exploitative narcissist. And when that happens, the empath will leave the relationship. And when an empath leaves a relationship, incredible things can happen. 
because that is when the game path will awaken. But before that point, you may have assumed that your friends, family, relationship partner, and everyone else you know feels the same way about you that you feel about them. And although sometimes people may mirror you, it's actually just an illusion, a deceptive appearance, which implanted a false idea in your mind. Because they do not see the world the way that you do. You may feel overly involved with them because you can sense their wounds, but they do not feel overly involved with you. They feel overly involved with themselves vicariously through you, which you may mistake as intimacy or a connection, and then you may decide to heal them. You may decide to heal the entire world because you want everyone to feel whole and complete. But what you may not realize is that your empathy will be exploited by predators because you may not believe that most people in this world are not empaths. And in fact, many people lack empathy. So the odds are that you are far more likely to run into a narcissist than another empath. And when that happens, you make excuses for the narcissist, at least until they have completely drained the life out of you because then you understand what's really going on and then things can change because you realize that you need to develop boundaries. You realize that if you do not protect yourself, then there are people out there who will drain you and stamp out your light to the point where you will not be able to help other people because by that point you will not even be able to help yourself. And in that moment you recognize that if you do not take care of yourself, then you will not be able to take care of other people. This may have been the first time you had that realization and awakening in your life, to where you could then see people for who they really are and recognize that some people are not to be trusted. And that's just what happens when a narcissist pushes the game path too far. The game path becomes able to see who people really are. They can identify narcissists and then they begin to withdraw their energy instead of giving it to heal everyone else. Because once the game path has been pushed too far, they need to heal themselves. And a healed empath is very powerful because they recognize that not everyone sees the world in a beautiful way. They recognize that toxic relationships exist. They recognize that they could be exploited. So then they decide to take care of themselves first instead of always taking care of everyone else. Because the game path recognizes that they are very different to narcissists. As an empath, you may have a lot of energy, but a narcissist will take all of the energy that you have to give. And then they will even leave you in a condition where you are unable to sustain yourself. Because empaths give and narcissists take. So the game path will always be the one who is left feeling drained. And once the game path has been drained, it will take time for them to recover. It's good to have empathy for other people, but not at the expense of yourself. Not when you're unable to recognize or differentiate your feelings from other people or when you're unable to recognize that someone is draining your energy because if an empath is in the middle of a word salad or a crazy making conversation they will doubt themselves which works perfectly for a narcissist because while you're rationalizing and trying to justify the narcissist's poor behavior they will continue abusing you and taking from you and leaving you feeling unimportant they will kick you when you are down. They will attack you when you are in a weak position. They will push your limits because they have no decency. If they did, then maybe you would still be in the relationship and they would still be abusing you. 
because that's all they can really do. They don't know how to slow down. So they can only continue to manipulate, use and destroy you. And by doing that, they failed. They put themselves in a difficult and unpleasant situation all because they couldn't stop. They had to push you to the limit. They had to abuse you in every way possible. If they could self-reflect and realize the effect that they were having on you, then maybe things would have turned out a lot better for them. But that couldn't happen because narcissists do not think that way. And that is how they end up ruining people's lives because that's what they wanted to do. So they pushed you to the point where you had this realization, where you developed the awareness that there must be something wrong with them. Or maybe they discarded you and you realized how strange that was because that's not something a normal healthy person is going to do. But that's how narcissists live. They use and abuse people. They chew them up and then they spit them out. They take and take until there's almost nothing left and then they return again to take that so that they get everything possible. They take advantage of kind, compassionate people. But by them doing that, you had this awakening. You figured it out. And now you have the education and awareness to benefit other people because now you understand what they did. You understand what they're capable of. But if they had slowed down, if they had gone about it with less effort and determination, you'd still be with them now. You'd still be lost in their web of lies, deceit and destruction. And you wouldn't know what you're dealing with. Because you're kind and compassionate. You're an empath. And because it wouldn't be enough to motivate you to do research about it, so then you never would have known. You would still be there. But once they pushed you to the limit, you realize you're being abused. And then you don't want anything to do with them anymore. So all they can do is play the victim until they get their new supply. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.